In this video, we're going to talk about what's called the standard form of a quadratic. So standard form of a quadratic. So the standard form of a quadratic looks like this. f of x equals a parentheses x minus h and this whole thing is squared, and then it's plus k. So if it's written that way, it's said to be in standard form. The vertex is h comma k. So this here is called the vertex. And the line x equals h, this is called, this is called the axis of symmetry. Okay, axis of symmetry. And what else? If A is positive, it opens up. So it would look it would look something like this. And this dot here, that's the vertex. And the axis is this invisible dotted line that cuts it in half. And if A is less than zero, it opens down. So it would look like this. And there's the vertex, and this invisible dotted line is the axis. Let's do a couple examples where we find the vertex and axis. So find the vertex and axis. Okay, so a, uh, f of x equals negative 2 parentheses x minus 3 squared plus 11. And we have to find the vertex and the axis. So solution. So using matching, you can see that h is 3 and k is 11. So that is the vertex. So there is a really cool trick for this so that you can always get it right. Just switch the sign, keep the sign. So it's a negative 3, it becomes a positive 3. It's a positive 11, it stays as, stays as an 11. So switch it, keep it, switch it, keep it. So switch the sign, keep the sign, switch the sign, keep the sign. The axis in this case is always x equals this number here, so 3. It's really important to have the x, okay, because it's a line. Let's do a bunch more of these so you see how it works. So b, c, d. I'll write down three more examples. So let's see, f of x equals 4 x plus 2 squared minus 12 f of x equals negative 3 x minus 7 squared plus uh, 4 and f of x equals 11 x plus 2 squared plus 15 and for all of these we'll find the vertex and the axis so vertex vertex vertex. So for the vertex, you can use that trick. Switch it, keep it, switch it, keep it, switch it, keep it. So it's a positive 2, so we switch it, it becomes a negative 2, keep it, so it stays negative. Switch, switch it, keep it, switch the sign, keep the sign. Here we switch it, so it becomes a positive 7, and we keep it, it stays positive. Switch it, keep it. This one's a positive 2, so we switch it, so it becomes negative, this one we keep it, so it's 15. Switch it, keep it, switch it, keep it. So you switch the sign, keep the sign, boom. And the axis for all of these is x equals, and it's always this number here. So here it's x equals negative 2, here it's x equals 7, here it's x equals negative 2. So whenever a quadratic function is written in standard form, it's really easy to find the vertex. The vertex is this point here. And it's really easy to find the axis, right? To find the vertex, you switch it, keep it. To find the axis, it's always x equals that number there. Uh, what happens if it's not in standard form? Well, I'll show you in the next video. I hope that made sense.